of DeKalb County. Our Board of Commissioners and two of our commissioners are here, Commissioner Greg Adams and Commissioner Larry Johnson. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you so much for being here with us today. And before we go forward, I want to say to all the men and women in uniform, as well as those who support our men and women in uniform, we appreciate you so much. We appreciate your courage and your service to ensuring that the citizens of DeKalb County are safe. Uh, we commit to you to continue the work of working with our county commissioners. Our goals are simple, it's three. Uh, we want the, uh, when it comes to public safety, our goal is to have the best trained, the best equipped, and the best paid men and women in uniform anywhere in the state of Georgia. And that's an applause, man. I think that we're moving in that direction. And today's event is just one example of being best equipped and best trained. But today uh, is a historic day. This represents our first SPLOS investment in public safety in improving the quality of life in DeKalb County. Uh, behind us are public safety vehicles. This is an $8 million investment. These are the first dollars that have been spent of the more than $388 million that will be invested in unincorporated DeKalb County, Georgia. We started with public safety because public safety is the most important uh, service that we provide to our citizens. The funding was generated from a special purpose local option sales tax, a one penny tax that was uh, first uh, supported by our county commissioners and by a 71% vote from the Cab County citizens. We are investing to improve public safety and provide a high level of emergency service to our residents and business owners. The addition of new public safety vehicles and equipment will improve public safety decrease response times, and deliver significant cost savings to our county. The DeKalb Police Department has purchased 50 new police vehicles equipped with advanced safety and technology that will allow full integration with the county's emergency dispatch center and officer body-worn cameras. We expect to be in service by the end of September. Each 2018 Chevrolet Tahoe which costs approximately $61,000 a piece. Uh, we'll continue to increase community visibility and prevent and reduce crime. Additionally, the new patrol vehicles feature push bumpers, which allows officers to remove disabled vehicles out of the roadway and expedite traffic flow. And we will purchase an additional 50 vehicles in 2019. The total will be 100 new vehicles on the road in DeKalb County, Georgia. Uh, we also purchased 10 rapid response vehicles for fire and rescue. They will be fully equipped to respond to emergency calls and fire suppression. Rapid response vehicles you see behind me are smaller and are fuel efficient and cost and operationally efficient when compared to the larger vehicles. Each vehicle, each fire response vehicle, costs approximately $190,000 a piece. So we're moving in the right direction. Uh, I'm excited. I'm honored to be your CEO. I'm honored to serve next alongside uh, Commissioner Adams, Commissioner Johnson, and our presiding officer, Commissioner Jeff Rader. Give him a hand. Give our presiding officer a round of applause. Oh no, he was presiding somewhere, <laughs> I'm sure. But only by working together, in the Cab County we work as a team. Uh, the CEO's office worked closely with our commissioners and by working together we can get this job done. Uh, I want to ask the presiding officer if he would like to come forward and say a word before we introduce uh, our command staff. Thank you, Mr. CEO, and I really appreciate the opportunity to just say on behalf of all of our commissioners how pleased we are to see uh, the public's money uh, being deployed time, uh, timely fashion uh, for these new vehicles. You know, you can't do a good job without the right equipment, and this really is the right equipment for our public safety uh, officers to be able to respond quickly and to be effective um, and to really continue to make DeKalb better every day 
um, and a safer place to be. So thanks very much. Thank you, Mr. Now I would like to call the Dean of the uh, Board of Commissioners to the microphone, Commissioner Larry Jones. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is a truly a great day as, as we uh, look at our public safety department, uh, which is our family. I've had a chance to be through uh, three iterations of cars. I mean, I was here, I won't say the Marriott Marquis, but it's the Marquis, the uh, Chevrolet, and now we're looking at our SUVs. And this is part of where we have to go and grow as a county. We want to make sure that you have the best equipment that's in the state and the nation. Uh, we've had a chance uh, to go around to all our police precincts, our fire stations, to really see what type of equipment and what can we do to help our family out in our 911 uh, operations, which is located here. This is truly a great day for DeKalb. The SPLOST, the SPLOS, has really is going to generate a lot of great things for our county. This is the first thing that you will see outwardly, but we're going to start paving roads this week as well because part of our give back to this penny that you see, Chief Penny, on either side, is that we have to make this investment and make sure that the residents of the cab are doing it. And our CEO is doing a great job and a great steward in making sure that the vision is plain. Make sure that the quality of life, not only for our family members, our public safety, but also the folks who live in the cab. So let's make this happen. I'm glad that we have uh, these great vehicles that have come on the road. This will help to make us more efficient and more effective to make a difference in our county. So let's keep it up. I told CEO, I like doing things like this because it shows the investment. It shows that we are keeping our word from the Board of Commissioners to the CEO office to the employees. That you all are the front line. You are the face of this organization. If you're not happy, you're not moving forward. We cannot move forward without you. So God bless you, public safety folks. Let's continue to move forward and keep the cab safe because we want to make sure that you're safe as well. God bless you. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Adams. Thank you, Mr. CEO, and uh, to our presiding officer, Jeff Rader, and of course, my colleague, Commissioner Larry Johnson. It is a great day, and it is a new day in DeKalb County, moving this county forward, working to build and to better. Hearing the concerns of our citizens, we're trying to focus a whole lot on public safety, and we're purchasing these vehicles, but we got quite a few cadets going through each academy, police and fire. So you talk about transparency, we are, we're demonstrating transparency. And I love this, this uh, mascot, the Penny Family. This is a creative idea, but we're working together to show your tax dollars, your penny at work. Thank you, Mr. CEO, for your great leadership. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And uh, before I call Director Lumpkin, they've been referred to, but uh, I also want to introduce uh, Chief Fireman Penny. Give him a hand. And if y'all would just step, bring him out a little bit, uh, Patrolman Penny. Well, give him a hand anyway. <laughs> These are the faces of uh, DeKalb County. We're proud of them. It's, it's a little bit of uh, uh, levity involved in it, but it speaks to a very important message that we will watch and account for every penny that is generated by this blossom. And our commitment is, working with our Board of Commissioners, is that every penny generated will be invested in improving the quality of life for the citizens of DeKalb County, Georgia. Now I'd like to bring an outstanding leader, a person who's dedicated his life to law enforcement, a role model, a shining example of integrity and courage, dedication and hard work, Director Joseph Lunker. Thank you, Mr. CEO. On behalf of the men and women of public safety agencies, it's great to be here with our citizens, our CEO, and our commissioners. Mr. CEO, thank you for leadership. You know that leadership matters. Leadership will provide us with the tools and the direction, the training, the technology, to improve services throughout public safety. The men and women of public safety really appreciate that. Mr. CEO, you have been a reliable supporter over the decades for public safety, and we know that we're going to continue to excel under your leadership. 
Thank you, sir. Uh, Chief Fulton of the Fire Department, please step forward. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I too want to thank the CEO for his vision and his support of public safety. Uh, since he's been on board, we've had many conversations, and, and I'll tell you, I've never met somebody who wants to understand what the needs are and is willing to support the department in the way he is. To the commissioners, thank you for your support. Uh, on behalf of the men and women of, of the fire department, I want to thank the citizens for their trust in the department. These vehicles back here, we truly believe they're going to reduce the response time. They're going to make us more effective and efficient in how we perform our job. So we are really excited about bringing these units on board. As the CEO mentioned, they will not only respond to EMS calls, but they'll be able to respond to fire calls. They're a lot cheaper than that $500,000 fire, $500, fire truck that you see rolling down the road. So we really are excited about these vehicles. You also see the radios, they're behind there as well. Uh, we replaced our radios. Those radios were key to keeping our firefighters safe so that they could use them when they're inside of a fire. They're small, but they were uh, about a $1.5 million investment. So we're excited. We're excited about becoming a world-class fire department in a class one. Thank you. Assistant Chief Yarbrough will speak for the police department on behalf of the police department. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Today we get to come forward and I get to represent Chief Conroy today and I appreciate the opportunity to get to talk to you. It's easy to talk about leadership, but it's a lot harder to walk it. And when I see what's happened in this county, and I've been a, a police officer for 29 years, when I see what the county is doing now, in coordination with our citizens, with our leadership from the CEO's office, to our board of commissioners, and then the command staff of our public safety department, I don't think you can see a time in our history over the last several decades of where we are today. When we have come together to accomplish things for our global good in the county, to bring public safety to the forefront, to ensure that our citizens are supported in the way that they deserve with the service and expectations being met. I can't thank the citizens of the county enough for supporting SPOS. Without their support, we wouldn't be here today. And we couldn't serve you without you uh, giving us that authority to come and serve in your communities. We're not different parties. We are a community of people together, working together to accomplish a safer decab, a vision that the CEO has brought very well to the forefront. And I want to thank his leadership, the Board of Commissioner, as well as the citizens of Cap Thank you. Thank you. I would like for Do Director Moniham of the 911 Center of the Public Safety uh, Answering Point to come up. And I want to remind everyone our here, our citizens that are from in the media, that Public safety is a shared responsibility, and 911 is where it starts. So we must and always will have a great peace out. Thank you, Director. Good morning, everyone. Uh, over the course of the last year in E911, with the leadership of the CEO and the Board of Commissioners, we have fully implemented a new 911 call handling system. We've also implemented a new uh, next generation computer aided dispatch system. We also recently completed a transition to the federally initiated FirstNet program, the first large agency in the state of Georgia and really in the southeast to implement that program. Um, and I, I would be remiss if I didn't also mention that I believe attrition is down across the board in public safety. And I believe that is directly attributable to this CEO and this Board of Commissioners approving raises over the last couple of years. Uh, moving forward, I want you to know that we will strive to remain on the cutting edge in 911 and provide the citizens with the utmost in service. Thank you. Uh, thank you. If there are questions, individuals will be available to have individual conversations with the press. We appreciate you all being here. And I close with this. As CEO of DeKalb County, 
you have literally millions of responsibilities and expectations. But the most sobering responsibility I have as CEO is that every day I ask you, the men and women in uniform and those who support, to put yourselves often in harm's way to ensure that the citizens are safe. I do not take that lightly, and that's my commitment to you, and I hopefully I can speak for the county commissioners, that we're going to continue to do everything we can to first make sure you get home safe and that you're in a position to protect the men and women and children who live in this county. And I'll start with this. I had a conversation with the CEO, uh, with the uh, public safety director, two weeks ago. Expect, and working with our presiding office and our county commissioners, expect to hear some good news about salary increases in public safety in the near future.